And if you have any questions about your rare coins, you want to know whether they're very rare or valuable, you can send uh, the image to this link above, to the email address. Also, Skype is available for video chat. You can chat with us about coins, mainly US coins. Oh, another guy sent also as well. Let's first check from Nadia. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Man, I asked I asked them to send high definition pictures, but unfortunately they sent this. How can I tell anything about coin in such with such visual? It's hard to tell anything. I can't even read the date. Let's check other. Oh, it's 1925s. And it's brown condition, heavily circulated. You see uh, a facial part, the the suit or tuxedo, how it's called in English. Uh, signs of die fatigue and circulation, strong circulation rub on high points. Here we have some damage, I think. Is it nick? Doesn't look like a nick. So it's brown fine condition or very fine lower very fine back side of the coin is upside down here with ears are worn fully worn as well no motifs shown mm, visible here 1925s san francisco mintage was huge 26 million over 26 million Weight is the same, 3.11 grams, bronze, diameter 19 millimeters, edge plane. So let's see, fine and very fine. So Nadia, it's not that valuable coin because in this condition it can fetch between $2 and $9 according to NGC. So bear in mind that take it average price it could be seven dollars and we don't see any mm, mint error here as well it's just worn and softly struck coin another quarter dollar ah, this is from stated this is stated quarter nine two thousand one rhode island state quarter with mint market D, Denver issue as well. If you have this coin in superb gem condition, you can send us your pictures and we can find out what's the value of this coin. The lower grades are, uh, for example, 65 is was sold for $6. 66, nine, between seven to $9. 67s between 6 and 11 dollars with plus designation it gets higher 104 dollars sold in 2020 and when it comes to ms68 we have here may 2017 sale and april 2018 sale one of them was sold for four hundred and thirty-one dollars, and one of them to two hundred two hundred and nineteen dollars. See here on um, here on my above me, this is circulated specimen, and this is this is uncirculated superb gem. In main state 68 you see so such a lustrous beautiful coin with excellent eye appeal look at these motifs clear cut needle sharp strike every motif is highly enhanced 
wonderful gem and it was sold for $431.20 with buyer's fee great collections auction guys so 1982 large date it is brown condition circulated there are three regular issue small dates among 1982 Lincoln Sands, including the 1982 bronze small date, as well as 1982 and 1982 D zinc small date. The key in telling the bronze and zinc cents apart weighs them. The 1982 bronze cent weigh about 3.11 grams. So. So here we see the inside uh, on the slab. He put three. Uh, she put three point one gram. So this is bronze sand. If she weighted uh, right correctly, this is bronze sand. Where was Pisces? Whereas the zinc sense register at a much lighter weight of 2.5 grams. So main criteria for telling the difference is the weight. First of all, check the weight. For small weight, it is for bronze sand, 1982 bronze sand. If you, it is 3.11 grams for the zinc. Uh, copper plated zinc sand it is 2.5 grams in small date date can be distinguished from the large date by looking at the size and positioning of the date numerals as well as the shape of two so as i told the the source i wrote read before was not correct so we must pay attention to the two numeral two mainly On the large dates, the tops of the middle numerals exceed the tops of the 1 and 2, with the 2 showing straight descender. Let's move it again. On the large dates, the tops of the middle numerals exceed the tops of 1 and 2. Ah. So here, large dates, these two between, the numerals between 1 and 2, are high in higher position so this is how to tell the difference but in small date one and two is in top level yeah it is large date now numeral nine and eight exceeds one and two in in height so the price range is not that shocking nothing surprising here because even in mid state 63 the guiding price is just six dollars but it starts getting much higher values starting from ms66 condition where it's it has a guiding price of 60 dollars In MS67, it is $140, but according to sale, sales records by PCGS, it is something between $125 and $336. For example, let's take this example. Let's see. Here a large date specimen. MS sixty seven bronze large date. Very nice specimen with nice eye appeal and sharply struck motifs. Let's check backside as well. Here we don't see any distractions as well. So, 
This M67 red gem ended up selling for $336 on 2023. And for the high-end gems, 